Greetings, dear brothers and sisters, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach. Once again, to Him and Him alone, be all the praise, honor, and glory. And today is the second day, right, Anna? Yes. Of the third month of the year 2017. And dear brothers and sisters, we are once again here to worship the Lord. Actually, myself and our seven-year-old daughter, Hannah, and she actually has a cover sheet for us. We are going to sing Because He Lives. And dear brothers and sisters, we encourage you, we welcome you. Please, please, please join us in and, and rejoice in our coming King, Yeshua HaMashiach. Because in His presence, today is the time to be in the ark. Today is the time to be in His presence. In His presence only there is the fullness of joy. No matter what we do, dear brothers and sisters, only in His presence will be the fullness of joy. Only in His right hand there are pleasures forevermore, not my right hand or left hand. None of us. Dear brothers and sisters, we welcome you. Please join us. Let's glorify our coming King. Praise Him, worship Him, honor Him because He and He alone is worthy of all our praises, of all the glory, of all our worship. Of all the honor because he has redeemed us and because he lives, we all can face tomorrow. So let's start with a word of prayer, shall we, Anna? Yes. Heavenly Father, we come this day in your presence in the name above every single name of our King Yeshua HaMashiach. Heavenly Father, as we have gathered to worship you, we stand on your promise of Matthew 18, 20, that where two or three gather in your name, you will be there in the midst of then, at this time, Lord, we ask that fill us with your Holy Spirit, each one of us, our dear viewers, and each one of us, fill us with your Holy Spirit as we worship you. Help us, Lord, to rejoice in you and to give you the glory and to worship you in truth and in spirit, Lord, you and you alone are the King of Kings and you and you alone are the Lord of Lords and you al and you alone are the name above every single name who has redeemed each one of us through your precious holy blood this evening. Help each one of us to praise you and give you the glory and be in your presence so that your name be exalted. And in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, using our authority of Luke 10, 19, we bind every single evil of the enemy which is coming at this time, which is coming at our dear viewers. And Father, we pray for the hedge of protection for each one of us. And as we worship you, as we glorify your mighty name, may the meditations of our heart and may the words of our mouth be acceptable at your sight at this time. Our Lord, our Savior, our King Jesus Christ of Nazareth, in whose mighty holy name we pray. Amen, amen. and amen and amen. All right, Anna, you can go ahead. Join us, dear brothers and sisters. We are using the karaoke for the Because He Lives. Hallelujah. We just praise you this day, Lord. God sent His I'm 
of kings, to the Lord of lords, to the name above every single name of our King Yeshua HaMashiach. The Bible says, Acts 4.12, dear brothers and sisters, there is no other name given under heaven and earth through which we can be saved. We just praise you, Lord Jesus, this day and give you the glory and power and praise. The Bible says, John 10.10, 10, dear brothers and sisters, the thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. But Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I have come so that they might have life and life in abundance. Dear brothers and sisters, in his presence this evening, we encourage you to worship him over and over again. Join us and worship him over and over again because in his presence, there is fullness of joy, the joy which he gives. It's inexplicable, dear brothers and sisters. The Bible says, we all have, perhaps this is summarizes our Holy Bible, John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shall never perish, shall never perish, but will have an everlasting life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn us, but to save us. Yes, dear brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ came. Jesus Christ of Nazareth came so that we can have life and life in abundance so that we were already judged. We were condemned. The Bible says we all have fallen short of God's glory because we all have sinned and fallen short of God's glory. Romans 3.23 But the free gift for the wages of sin is death. But the free gift of God is eternal life in Yeshua HaMashiach. Romans 6.23 says, Dear brothers and sisters, this evening we welcome you if you don't know him. If anybody listening now, if you don't know him, come to his presence. He has paid the price for every single sin. He loves you so much that you cannot even imagine because he came to give you life and life in abundance. Dear brothers and sisters, if somebody listening, if you have fallen, today is the day because he lives. Life is worth the living. Because he lives, me and you can face tomorrow boldly because Jesus Christ has paid the price. We don't have to be afraid of the enemy anymore, dear brothers and sisters, because Jesus Christ of Nazareth has paid the price. Dear brothers and sisters, if God is calling you to a higher calling, if you're feeling un uncomfortable, if you don't want to get out of your comfort zone, today is the day. Take that leap of faith. God is calling you. Your call will always be bigger than what you are. But God will equip you. Because every each one of us have fallen short of God's glory, but he paid the price. He paid the price because he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement for our peace was upon him. And by his stripes, by his stripes, we are healed. Isaiah 53, 5 says that. We thank you, dear brothers and sisters, once again for joining us. We hope that you got, have gotten a chance to join us and worship the King, worship our Lord, our Savior, and we thank you, dear brothers and sisters, for viewing us. And we encourage you, if you take this message to the Lord and take this worship to the Lord, and whatever the Lord lays on your heart, if you would please get back to us with all your inputs, thoughts, suggestions, we greatly appreciate that. Thank you, dear brothers and sisters. And let's all stay in his presence. Let's just give him the glory and honor and power and praise. Because the Bible says rejoice and rejoice and rejoice always. Philippians 4.4 4. and Nehemiah 8.10 says that the joy of the Lord is our strength. Let's end with a word of prayer. Shall we, Anna? Yes. All right, you can go ahead. Lord Jesus, once again, I thank you for this time to worship you, Lord. And I pray, Lord, help us to worship you in whatever we do, Lord. And bless us as we go forth from here, Lord. Fill us with your Holy Spirit, Lord. Show us whatever you have for us, Lord. And help us to worship you in whatever we do, Lord. In your mighty name, I pray. Amen. Amen and amen and amen. Thank you, dear brothers and sisters, and God bless you all.